What's up guys? My name is Ikeable. Today we are bringing you how to master all the building combinations possible here in Fortnite. We're gonna jump right into it. So first up we got the wall, right? Let's just put two of them down. The most basic thing you can do in the wall is a middle window. So you'll go ahead and toggle that one out and you got a window. If you want to quickly reset, it's glitching out. Okay, it's really glitching out. Okay, if you want to quickly reset, you can hit R on Xbox and then quickly reset it. Another thing you can do is any place there are two vertical squares in the wall, you can put a door. You can put a door there, confirm that, right? And then we got a nice working door here. My game is fucking glitching, dude. I can't even open it. So we can get a door, right? Or we can even do a window and a door. That's awesome. We got like a house going. Right? So you can also do... Oh my god! It's glitching! Back in action. Finally! So, let's do another door. We can do a window even, right? Or, um, say we want two windows. You can do two windows, right? We can turn this window into a door even. Now we got a window and a door. Or we can hit R on it and reset it completely. Moving on, we got the roof piece here. What you can do with the, these, um, you only have four s squares here, so it's super simple. You can cut one square out and do something like that. A lot of the times I'll use this to ascend places, so let's see, I'll get a wall out and do something like this. And then I'll put like some stairs down, right? Now I can easily hop through and I still got my walls going. Another thing you can do is a balcony. Say, say we want these two there only. Boom, now we got a balcony and it's uh, lovely kind of weird with the stairs here but you can do that another thing you can do with the stairs is a single thing I don't know why you would ever really want this maybe for something like that that's kind of cool it's kind of cool um, but you can do the single for the floor piece as well floor pieces also make perfect roofs I don't think you should really use pyramids for roofs it's a lot easier to shoot them from an outside perspective like I can easily shoot that roof out right if it was flat I wouldn't be able to really shoot it so, I always use floor pieces if I'm building um, something above me. Moving on, we got the stairs. So, we got our standard stairs. This is the only piece I know that you can rotate. So, when you edit the stairs, it get, looks kind of complex. These are the most complex um, pieces of building in Fortnite. So, what you're going to do to rotate, these are the arrows. They tell you where the stairs are facing. So, what you can do is you can toggle on the arrow and just turn. And let go and confirm and it will turn it, right? Easy, I'm gonna do that again. Hold the trigger, turn, confirm. Boom, just like that. So let's go ahead and turn it completely. Nope, that's not what I meant to do, but that leads me to my next point. Let's go ahead and reset it. So maybe you don't want a full staircase. Maybe you only want that half I had right there. So you can um, click this guy, this guy, and there, and then confirm, and you got a half staircase. But wait, there's more than that. Now, the stairs get even trickier. They're freaking awesome. I love the stairs. So, let's just reset it. We got a full staircase, right? We'll go into edit mode. We'll highlight, we'll trigger this guy, this guy, all the way around, right? To this one. And then look at this. We got, we got a 90 degree, you know, staircase right there, which is pretty freaking legit. But wait, there's more. What we can do even further, we'll go ahead and reset it again. Got the normal staircase you guys see. We can go all the way over here and bring it over here. And we got a full 180 degree staircase with one, just the, the same amount of wood that it takes, right? The same amount, 10 pieces. One basic tip I have um, for using stairs is um, when you're climbing something, say you wanna get on a roof. I always recommend putting a floor piece over it when you get on a roof or a mountain or something like that. That way no one can sneak up on you. No one can use your ramp. And if you want to leave, you can edit your own pieces, right? You can edit that one square out and definitely get through it. You can do like that and boom. That way no one else can sneak up on you unless they want to build something. And if they build something, you're going to hear them. So that's a really big pro tip to use right there. Another thing is using ramps to descend mountains. You know when you do the little slide thing down a mountain? Instead of using the floor pieces, they kind of glitch out and sometimes you fall straight through them and take fall damage anyways. Um, what you want to do is use the ramps instead. Um, they're a lot less glitchy, I am, that's what I've been told, so use those ones when you're descending instead. They're a lot better. 
Finally, we're gonna take it to the most underrated piece that there is in Fortnite. That is this little guy here, the pyramid. You know, um, the best way to use a pyramid that I've seen is to maximize head glitching. So let me take you guys in this little one, one by one hut here, or you can even build one yourself, but I've gotten wrecked by people just head glitching in one of these with a pyramid down. Simple pyramid, and then they just wait at the door, and then you open it, and then BAM! You're fucking dead. You're dead. That's the best way I've seen to use the pyramid. Anywhere else, it doesn't really seem to matter, but we gotta move up because there's a storm coming in. However, there is another good way to use the, the pyramid, and that's to edit it as a staircase. So, this is true for any piece that you guys are building the tr the truest struggle in fortnite is switching between the walls and the stairs on console right that's the most i'm getting shot at see you dude so using the stairs and um all right we had some technical difficulties but we're back so anyways guys we we're talking about the pyramid so let's take out a pyramid right and then we can edit the back pieces like so and then they turn into stairs that makes the toggling between the walls and the stairs that much easier so let's just build something really quick right let's just say we're in a gunfight this ground's pretty uneven but let's just go like boom boom and boom you don't have to toggle between the floor piece to get to the stairs by doing this and if you edit it before you place it down like I did, um, you wanna, before you place it down, you wanna edit it, right? The back pieces. And every time you go to pull it out again, it's gonna stay like that. And that is true for even um, anything. We could do the spiral steps that way. If I edit a, a door before I place it, it's gonna always have a door in there. Like I'm gonna have the floor out and then we're gonna pull out my thing and it's gonna have a door. Even the steps, we can edit the steps like that and they stay like that this is kind of shitty you don't want to do this for everything you usually want to place it down and edit it afterwards because when you want to pull out stairs quickly sometimes um you're gonna pull out these and that's not gonna be exactly what you wanted so definitely edit afterwards except for the pyramids if you're going for this tactic keep the pyramid edited beforehand if that makes sense i think that's the most one of the most useful things there are for pyramids um we can go ahead and reset it but you can also lift up one one corner i mean i don't really know what use that's really going to give you <laughs> when you have other things you can lift up the second opposite corner and get one of these things i don't know you can even put walls around it if you want to and you have your own little thingamajigger i don't know or you can lift up what is it three pieces right you can lift up the three and get an inverted piece so that's kind of nice when you have um something like this So you have something like this, and then boom, like that. That kind of works out, right? That was kind of a struggle. So what did I even lift up there? I lifted up the back pieces. So then now you have like a nice little, you know, corner piece. Um, alternatively, I don't think I would really use that though. I prefer just to have walls. I mean, it does take two pieces, but you do have an added layer of protection. If one wall gets blown up, you still have the other one. If you had the pyramid going, then all they need to do is blow up that one piece. And now we're in the storm. That's, I think, where I can conclude this video. I think I covered everything. If you guys have any questions, then let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Share any advice with other people, because I do, and everyone else, learns a lot from uh, my viewers. Because you guys give me tips, and I learn from you guys, and it's all just... A wonderful thing i want to remind you guys quickly that i am doing a v bucks giveaway i'll have a link in the description below as well as instructions of um, how to enter and all of that stuff maybe even in the pinned comment so it's a little bit easier to see anyways guys that's gonna do it for me subscribe if you haven't already for another gaming video every single thursday i'll see you then my name is peace